Methods by which human brain power has been interacting with computers have traveled a long way. Graphical user interfaces, voice recognition systems, touchscreens have been there in linking computers to the wellspring of all human powers. The brain. What if we could build a direct communication pathway between the brain and the computer? We'll eventually control everything with our minds. The brain-computer interface is a direct dialogue between man and machine. This system is developed mainly using two techniques. Firstly, EEG, based on electroencephalography which detects brain activities due to changes in thoughts. Secondly, EMG, using electromyography which detects the electrical potential generated by muscle movements. In these two methods, neural impulses generated in the brain, eye or other muscles in the body are intercepted and utilized to control electronic devices such as computers, televisions or even the radio. This gives hope for thousands of locked in patients suffering from severe motor impairments to re-establish control of their external environment. A group of Sri Lankan scientists led by Professor Asri Nanayakara at the National Institute of Fundamental Studies are enriching this field of research by developing a low-cost, real-time brain-computer interface system on their own. Our brain possesses about 100 billion neurons and 10,000 times as many connections. That is even more than the number of stars in our galaxy. But all nerve signals are not detectable. EEG signals are detectable only for certain thoughts. Even they are considerably weak. One of the major factors that Professor Asuri considered during the development of the BCI was its cost to its efficiency. As a result, the BCI system presents an affordable option that would lessen the burden on individuals which require its help. The entire system, though incredibly complex, can be separated into three main expenses with the most expensive being the printing of the circuit board which costs $104 or approximately 16,350 rupees and the team has been clever in using the harness of a safety helmet which can be found anywhere and costs $5.25 or approximately 790 rupees and the dry electrodes which cost $24.8 or 3,950 rupees bringing the total cost down to 21,086 rupees in expenses Did you ever wonder that you'd be able to turn on a light bulb with your facial muscle movements? In demonstration 1, the EMG signal generated by mouth quenching muscle movement is detected, amplified and digitized so that the computer is programmed either to switch on the light bulb or to turn it off. In addition to facial gestures, communication via eye blinks is also applicable with this. Two blinks to switch on the television. Go through the menu by blinking your eyes. When it comes to the television channel of your choice, just another couple of eye blinks would make it play on the screen. Now isn't that amazing? Moving on from the television to the computer. No mouse, no keyboard. In fact, you don't even need your hands at all. Yet somehow, he's going to control this computer. Pay attention to what he's up to. Eye blinks are used to move the cursor left, right, up, and even down. Cheek muscles of mouth quenching equals a double click. What a combination of muscle movements. But what if there comes a person who is unable to make a single muscle movement? Yet, he can still think. Resulted electrical signals from the activity of his brain's nerve cells, that is EEG signals, are still there. EMG signals generated by muscle movements are of millivolts. EEG signals are even smaller, measured in microvolts. Therefore, the detection of EEG becomes harder and the error made by noises could also be high. But one of the major intentions of the BCI is to serve the disabled. Turning out to the world community with total paralysis who cannot even move or communicate verbally due to complete paralysis of all voluntary muscles in the body is notable. So this obligation urges the BCI systems to make it work even with the EEG signals.
Here, the software is programmed in such a way that the EEG signal frequency of a specific thought could select the command the person demands out of the altering options. In this manner, people with severe physical disabilities can control equipment like wheelchairs and communicate with the computer voice with his or her own native language by simply using their own thoughts. Comfort, succor, well-being. The service the BCI system could render the world is immense. This is only the first step of a journey of a thousand miles.